Hey everyone, I want to do a video here on my truck. It's a 1998 Dodge Ram, 1500, 5.2 liter V8. It's been a great truck for me. I bought it at an auction about four years ago. Bought it for about 800 or I think it was 850, 850. That was about three or four years ago, so it's been lasting quite a long time. The body looked like this when I first got it, so you know it's pretty rough. Which is part of the reason why I got it for so cheap. But it's been holding up very well for me. It has the back seat so I can put the kids in there sometimes when I need to. And I've done lots lots of work on this thing. I do it almost all myself. And uh, if you guys are worried about doing mechanical work yourself, um, YouTube is, an, is a great source for how-to repairs on your truck. And these Dodge Rams are everywhere, so you can get parts for them. As you can see over there, that's where, that's a parts truck that I bought. bought that for 300, 300 or $400. Um, so I just bought another truck just to feed the, to get parts off of, just for this truck. As you can see here, here's the tailgate that I have for it, that from that other one. The only reason I replaced the other tailgate was just because the handle, I was having a really hard time with the handle. I tried to replace it before, but I just couldn't get it to to fit on right. So I just replaced the whole thing with uh, the old, with my other parts trucks tailgate. So if you're scrapping, you want to make sure that you, that you have a uh, way to keep all your stuff inside from blowing out. And uh, you want to be... Uh, courteous to other motorists and stuff so gotta make sure your stuff is all strapped down so what I did and what a lot of other guys do is they put rails on the sides of their trucks and this is just a a futon couch rail this is from a futon and what I did is I just got these two by fours and I stuck them down into these poles into the holes here uh, I had to notch the the 2x4, I notched it about halfway, and then it sticks all the way down. And so I just use that, some hose clamps to clamp on the rails. These 2x4s are on, are on all four corners. Over there. And for the back glass, you can see what I did is just another, just a 2x4 frame. Um, again, that's attached to these 2x4s, and I just use some regular old fencing, metal fencing. And I like to, these are, this is nice, these are nice for holding your bungee cords and other straps that you might need. Here's, I have a broom that I use to clean up my truck after each load. You always want to make sure that your, the back light is visible too. So, Stuff can still go through here, so you gotta be careful. Um, but I, I throw in large items and, make, and let it hit the back and not have to worry about it shattering the, the glass. But uh, pipes and stuff, you gotta be wor more careful f with. Um, yeah, I just keep magnets hanging up here just for testing metal and holding some tools. Uh, here's the hitch that I have. I have a ball valve up here, but I also have, uh, I'd recommend that everyone buy these ones. It has all three standard balls that you'll need for trailers. And uh, I use all three all the time. And whenever I'm hauling stuff, because I got three different types of trailers that I use. Um, I bought that. It, was, it wasn't that expensive. It was probably like 40 bucks. And uh, you just got to make sure that you take it off. Um, this, these are prone to get stolen. So if you're in an area that you're worried about things getting stolen, make sure you just take that off each time or you get a locking, uh, locking pin for your hitch.
Uh, moving on, yeah, you can see the body's pretty rough, but that's you don't want to have a nice truck if you're going to be scrapping it with it or any general work truck either. You want if you get a nice truck, yeah, you want to be really real careful with it. So I got this real cheap, and uh, I'm happy with it. Bought it three years ago. It's a 1998, so it's about 18 years old. And so, so far, uh, so far so good. I mean, I've done lots and lots of work on it, but YouTube is a great source of uh, information for swapping out parts. And that's all I've been doing. And uh, over here is the parts truck that I bought. I've taken off lots and lots of things off this truck. Um, when I, I bought this for $300 off a guy, it's got the buys in worse shape and needed a, a brake job. Um, but other than that, I just, I went to his house, I bought it, drove it away, drove it home. Everything works on it. And I've been selling bits and pieces off of it too. It came with a liner that I sold for $50. It came with like a, a full cab. I sold that for a hundred dollars and inside I've already sold the the dashboard I sold the dashboard on eBay I think a hundred and twenty dollars I think I shipped that to Texas this particular sale was good because when I bought it it came he gave me two brand new front rotors with it along with a, a box of goodies like oil filters and gaskets and lights so buying this truck was probably the best thing I bought uh, the best investment I made last year so I'm going to keep this around for a little while longer continue to take parts off of it until I get a new truck but if I were to get a new truck, I think I'd like to another second generation Dodge, just like the one I have, just because I'm so used to it. So yeah, these rails are good for um, also using your straps and bungee cords. You can string them across and uh, secure your load better. And yeah, so I'm always doing repairs on this thing. It's worth it though, I think, because otherwise you're paying high interest loans for new cars, new or used cars. So getting a fixer upper is what I've been doing these last couple times. Um, here's an example of a repair that I'm doing. This is the muffler from my parts truck and the catalytic converter from my parts truck. Uh, I'm going to replace both in one one big piece. Uh, I don't have any engine codes or anything coming up in my truck, but the thing that I have wrong with my cat that's on my truck right now is the heat shield's completely gone, and it's got some rust holes. So it's actually exhaust leaks right from the cat itself. And also, I have another exhaust leak on my muffler on exhaust strip just right around here which is kind of sad because this piece that's on my truck right now that piece I had uh, replaced that about two or three years ago when I got the truck so it's already failed it's pre failed prematurely so I'm going to be doing this um, Probably tomorrow. I'm just getting it set up today. Tomorrow's going to be a bit warmer, so I won't freeze my hands too much. But, you know, I'm going to save myself uh, two or three hundred dollars by doing this myself as opposed to bringing it into my mechanic. So that's good money in my pocket. I'm willing to do that. Just hopefully, I'm just a little bit worried that when I go to cut it off, cut off my old cat, that uh, something doesn't go wrong, right? Because then I'm stuck here with a broken truck. So, yeah, when, tomorrow I'm going to cut off my cat 
<clears throat> that's on my truck right now. I'm going to cut it off right there. And then I'm going to cut it off. I might just cut the bolt that's on the exhaust port, exhaust manifold on the engine. I might just cut that and just take it off. Because um, I couldn't, I had to cut it right there to get it off of my parts truck because I wasn't able to take the whole thing off. Anyways, wish me luck guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, give you some ideas on what you can do for your rig. Actually, maybe I'll show you my trailer too. This is just my trailer that I've had that I have. This is all just uh, plywood that I've put together. But I've been using these chains for a while, and this is what I've liked the best: is using these chains to hold the door closed. Um. It's just a customized trailer. That's all I've been doing for the last few years. Just using a little setup like this. And then, hopefully this summer, I'm going to get this thing online. This is a 25 foot camper. I took this thing apart this past uh, summer, hauled it all the way home, I scrapped out the whole trailer, it was just a big giant trailer, bathroom, kitchenette and everything, actually got this thing for free, someone just gave it to me, only catch was I had to pull it home, which I did. another trailer that I got for free from the same guy and I get that thing online too probably just resell it maybe I'll do something else with it anyways just praying for warmer weather hope you guys enjoyed the video talk to you later